Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer for Saturday the 14th of May. Today we remember um, Matthias the Apostle. He was the one who was chosen to replace uh, Judas Iscariot as one of the twelve. And you can read about him in the first chapter of the book of Acts. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his house of prayer. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the watchman waits for the morning, more than the watchman waits for the morning. I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. Psalm 80, Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears. You give them abundance of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbours, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off, and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man who, at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so we will not go back from you. Give us life, and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. If you want to read the Old Testament reading, it's 1 Samuel, chapter 16, beginning at the first verse. It's a passage I have to admit that I particularly like, um, so I commend it to you. 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 16, beginning at the first verse, and uh, going through to verse 13a, halfway through verse 13. But I'm going to read to you Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse 15. Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. And everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. 
The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell. And great was its fall. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so let's pray that we will be those who hear the words of the Lord and act upon them. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. With all authority, gentle in intimacy, Christ our identity. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me. Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. We pray for the United Nations that it may be an effective instrument of peace in the world. We bring before the Lord its all those related organisations, UNESCO, World Health Organisation, World Trade Organisation, Lord Jesus Christ. Guide us into good ways. Deliver us from ourselves. We pray that we will not become so subject to our own sin that we do great damage to the weak and the vulnerable. Lead and guide us away from war and grant us grace to accurately navigate the economy of the world at a challenging time and also to keep on with those targets to tackle global warming and the pollution of the oceans with plastic and other materials. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in pursuit of the good of all their peoples, so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. When there are different nations and language groups within their borders, we pray that they'll be treated with genuine equality. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for people displaced by war or persecution or poverty, that they may be given a courage and find a help, a hope, a welcome and a future. And we particularly bring before the Lord those nations that are finding themselves receiving hundreds of thousands or millions of refugees at this time. We pray the Lord will give them great wisdom and guidance and strength to deal with that challenge. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remember those who are especially on our hearts and minds this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted. Mend broken hearts and relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We speak over our communities this evening. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders, but you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Amen. So be it, O Lord. 
that faith, hope and love will abound in our lives, be known by joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Amen. So be it, O Lord. Then this district will bring me renown, joy, praise and honour before all nations on earth that hid of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Amen. So be it, O Lord. Almighty God, who in the place of the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be of the number of the twelve, preserve your church from false prophets. And by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to a place of holy prayer. In the name of Jesus, our Saviour, and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.